This tree you see right here is called the crepe myrtle or Lagerstromia indica. I did a video on this about a year ago on a different color. I called it magenta, but I think it might have a different official color term. But yeah, this is one of the most beautiful trees I've ever seen. It's a common landscaping tree here in North County, San Diego. And I just love how the branches are kind of long like that and sway in the wind against the contrast of the sky. It's a very mesmerizing sight. So I've been yearning to get some good crepe myrtle footage over the last few weeks, almost two months, but for one reason or another I've always been busy or, you know, the weather was bad, there was a marine layer coming in, um, you know, almost every weekend for a while, and you know, here we finally are. And the foliage is, you know, pretty standard. Uh, the branches, the twigs are very, very long, hence all the swaying, and as you can see, there are some tiny little crepe myrtle shoots. I don't know if these are adventitious shoots sprouting from the roots of this tree nearby or whether they sprouted from seeds. So you can see some at the base too. And the bark is very nice. The texture is very pleasant to the eye. So many trees along this street had these adventitious shoots coming out and they flower at the same time. So it's quite the sight and this one has many many shoots although these haven't flowered so if the city landscaping workers don't clear all of these shoots pretty soon we'll have this and it'll become more and more abundant as the years go by and it'll be quite a sight and I hope they don't remove those because I'm interested to see what the progression is so this tree is kind of sparse but it's already sprouting multiple shoots at its trunk at the base so I love this cotton candy appearance of these pink flowers. Uh, I think it's just one long inflorescence flanked by four equally spaced ones that are shorter. Crepe myrtle is from China, Korea, Japan, and the Indian subcontinent. It's often a multi-stemmed deciduous tree with a widespreading flat-topped open habit when it's mature. I heard they can grow, you know, six meters tall and six meters wide, although I'm sure that's easily broken in some places. And here you can see a row of these crepe myrtle trees flowering next to a small park. Crepe myrtle is frost tolerant and the flowers come in white. I've seen that. It hasn't started blooming yet. There's pink, which you see here. Pink starts the earliest. There's mauve, which I haven't really seen. There is supposedly purple. So mauve and purple are kind of close, I guess. I haven't seen either of those. And carmine, which I've been calling magenta for a year. So they have crimp petals and panicles up to 9 centimeters. Most of these trees have three wooden support columns tied together and to the main trunk with rubber ropes and that's to prevent these delicate trunks from breaking because you have all the surface area upstairs and when the winds get strong like say during the Santa Ana winds in Southern California in September October these trees could all break. This is essentially a tree that's been bred perhaps to maximize flower output at the expense of everything else or you know maybe it was that way naturally I don't know maybe it just comes in a densely forested low wind environment but anyway the white and carmine color crepe myrtle trees are going to be blooming soon so I'm going to try to get footage of those too